So in this video, we're going to talk about unemployment tax. We have FUTA, which stands for Federal Unemployment Tax Act. And then we have SUTA, which stands for State Unemployment Tax Act. This first example, we're going to talk about how to calculate FUTA, which is the Federal Unemployment Tax Act. Now, for the FUTA, what this is, is it's employers paying the government a rate in order to support people if they go on unemployment. Now, the employers only have to pay on the first 7000 paid to employees. So you would take the rate of the 7000 for each employee. Once a person goes over 7000 and what they earn, then the employer is exempt from having to pay the FUTA tax. So I want you to think of the base as 7000. So they don't have to pay. The employer does not have to pay tax on anything over 7000 for each employee. So in this example, it says, assume a company had a total wages of 19,000. So total wages means if they sum all the wages of all their employees, it's 19,000. And this is for a calendar year. It says no employee earned more than 7,000. So, so all the employees stayed under that base um, value. So in other words, none of the employees went over 7,000 in which the employer would be exempt to pay um, the FUTA tax. FUTA rate is 0.6%. And the question asks, how much does the company pay in FUTA tax? So since that 19,000 incorporates the total of all the employees wages, and none of the individual employees went over the 7,000 base, we have to pay 0.6% of that entire 19,000. So to calculate the amount of the FUTA tax that the employer needs to pay, we have to take the whole 19,000 times 0.6%, which as a decimal would be 0.006 because I moved the decimal place over two places. And when we multiply that, we get $114. So for the calendar year, this employer has to pay $114 in unemployment tax. In the next example, we're bringing up SUDA now. A SUDA, it works the same way. There's a base amount of 7,000. So if each individual employee stays under 7,000, then the employer needs to pay um, the whatever the rate is for each state, um, they need to pay that percentage on the total wages. Now the FUTA is federal, so that's always going to remain 0.6%. But the state is going to vary from state to state, and that's going to change. Or it can change, I should state. Okay, so in this question, it says a company has a total wages of 20000 and 4000 of the wages are exempt from SUDA. What are the company SUDA and FUDA taxes if the company SUDA rate is 5.8% due to a poor unemployment record? Okay, so 4,000 of the 20,000 is exempt. So that means we're only going to get taxed on 16,000. Because I take off the amount that is exempt. So this employer needs to pay unemployment taxes on $16,000. Okay, so... For FUTA, we're going to take 16000 That's federal, so that's always going to stay as 0.6% um, as a decimal. It would be 0 0.006. 
And when I multiply that, I get $96. So this employer needs to pay $96 for the federal unemployment tax. For the state unemployment tax, the rate for this particular state is 5.8%. So we're going to take 16,000 times 0 0.058. Uh, because that's 5.8% written as a decimal. And when we multiply that out, we're going to get $928. So this is the state unemployment tax is $928. Okay, last example. It says Jim Brewer, owner of Aero Company, has three employees. One employee earns $200 a week, another employee earns $800 a week, and the third employee earns $950 a week. Assume a SUDA rate of 5.1%, so that's the state. We know that the federal is gonna be 0.6%. The question is asking, what will Jim pay for the state and federal unemployment taxes for his first quarter? Well, quarters, since there's 52 weeks in a year, and there's four quarters in a year, so if we take 52 and divide by four, that means there's 13 weeks in one quarter. Okay, so in, we're going to label this as Employee one, employee two, and employee three. Okay, so employee one makes $200 per week. And since there's 13 weeks in the quarter, and they're asking us to calculus for the first quarter, I'm going to take 200 times 13, that's going to be 2,600 that employee one makes in the first quarter. So I'm going to label this as wages. Okay, now employee two makes $800 a week. And for 13 weeks, that would be 800 times 13. So that would be 10,400 in the first quarter. Employee three makes 950 a week. So we would take 950 times 13 and we would get that employee three gets $12,350 in the first quarter. Now, let's make this first column FUDA and the second column, SUDA. I'm not leaving myself enough room here. Let's lay, I'm just gonna label it S for F and S for FUDA and SUDA. Okay, now the employee only has to pay taxes on the first 7,000 of wages. Since employee one has not gone over 7,000, the employer is gonna have to pay the rate on the full $2,600. So for the FUDA tax, it's gonna be 2,600 times 0 .006. So that's gonna be $15.60. For the SUDA tax, that's 5.1%. That means it's 2,600 times 0 0.051. That's going to be $132.60. For employee two, remember the employer only has to pay on the first 7,000 made. So since employee two has definitely gone over the 7,000, we only have to pay taxes on that employee up to 7,000. So to find the FUDA and the SUDA, we're only doing that on 7,000. 
Okay, so we're gonna take 7,000 times 0 0.006, that's gonna be $42. And for the SUDA, that's gonna be 7,000 times 0 0.051, for the state tax, which is 357. Now we're gonna do the same thing for employee three. We only take the taxes on the first 7,000. So we would take the 7,000 times the 0.6%, which would give us 42. And we would take the 7,000 times the 0 0.051 for the state tax. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add it all up. So 1560 plus 42 plus 42 gives us a total of a hundred dollars and 50 cents so this is the total for the federal tax for the suda tax we're going to do 132.60 plus 357 plus 357 that's going to give us a total for state tax of 846 and 60 cents If we want to total both of these taxes together, the total in all the unemployment taxes, we would do 846.60 plus 150 cents would be $947.10. So the total federal unemployment tax he's going to pay, the employer's going to pay is $100.50. The total state tax that this employer is going to pay is $846.60. And if we want to add them both up to see the total unemployment taxes for both uh, federal and state, it would be 